All right, this is one little bonus video. I had one question to get answered from some of the other homework that I had, uh, and I think the one that got some of the people was this question: How do you do a? How do you find a derivative of this function? Uh, in order to do that, all we've really got to do is come in here and just rewrite it. Yeah, this looks strange to you. You might want to try and do a quotient rule, but then again, you may not be where a quotient rule is yet. It's really a lot easier than that. Just rewrite this one like this, x to the negative 2. Since this is x squared on bottom, it would be an x negative 2 on top. And now all you'd have to do is multiply, do your power rule. This would be negative 2 times 1 fourth times x, negative 2 becomes negative 3. And now all we got to do is make this thing look like uh, something we're used to. This would end up being negative 2 over 4, which would reduce to a half, x negative 3. I don't want to leave it like that. I want to finish by writing negative 1 over 2x to the third, though. And that's the way my final answer would look is something like that. So I hope this kind of helps you with that situation. You can do the same thing with a chain rule. If you were doing a chain rule question, and that chain rule question gave you like y equals 1 over 5x plus, that's not even 5x squared plus 1 to the third. All you'd have to do is rewrite it as y equals 5x squared plus 1 to negative third. And then you can do your chain rule. Multiply by negative 3. The negative 3, subtract 1, becomes negative 4 times the derivative of the inside would be 10x. And you end up with negative 30x over 5x squared plus 1 to the fourth back on bottom. So anyway, that gives you a couple of examples of what to do when you're doing a power rule question and you've got a number down here in this denominator. So anyway, or got your variable down there. But anyway, hope that helps.